If you look at the back of your router, you'll see four physical ports lined up together and a fifth port off to the side or denoted by a different color. The four ports are LAN ports and that's where you plug your home network computers into. LAN stands for Local Area Network. The fifth port is your WAN port or Wide Area Network. In this case, the Wide Area Network is the Internet. You plug this port into your modem in order to get the internet signal provided by your ISP. You'll notice that I said your router contains a four point switch and not a four point hub. Okay, The difference between a hub and a switch is kind of important. A hub is what we call a shared device. A 100 megabit hub will actually split its total bandwidth between all the connections on its network. So while somebody's got 20 megs over here, another person only has 30 megabytes available over here, and so on and so forth. Whereas a switch uses sophisticated electronics to switch the entire 100 megabits from one computer to the other so fast that they all seem to be a simultaneous connection. The reason I'm bringing this up is your router contains both a wireless and a wired side. The wired side is switched, whereas the wireless side is a lot like a hub. It's shared. So the more connections you have on your wireless side, the less bandwidth available for everyone else. So this is a good reason to make the best use of the wired side of your wireless router as possible. So you can use the four point switch in your router to connect up to four different devices on your network. The limitation of a switch is those four devices all must be on the same network. Now some specially configured switches in corporate networks can switch traffic back and forth between different networks. But the type of switch you'll find in a home network router is not capable of this. So you cannot use a switch to connect your home computers to the internet. This function must be performed by a router. A router is specially configured to forward packets from one network to a totally different network. And in the case of our home network router, the one network is the internet and the other network is our home network. By virtue of something called NAT, or Network Address Translation, the traffic that hits the IP address on the internet side of your router can be split up into multiple IP addresses on the home network side. So while computers on the home network side can see everyone else's IP addresses, people on the internet can only see the one IP address provided by the internet service provider on the internet side of the router. This is a good form of protection and security for your home network.